That was uh, not sign-off for tonight. This is the beginning of a new program in the uh, uh, second series of screening rooms. And we're showing uh, what was, in fact, a sign-off uh, film segment for Channel 5, made by my guest today, uh, a very good friend, tennis partner, um, ex-colleague at uh, Harvard, Dick Rogers. Uh, Dick, I hope you don't mind showing something that uh, was made that long ago and uh, has so many scratches on it. It's dirty. <laughs> well, the subject matter isn't anyway, and uh, uh, w with the bicentennial year here, I suppose uh, it's a good idea to, to uh, bring out the flag again. But uh, I, I tried to find out from the station whether they'd ever used it. I never stay up late enough to uh, find out whether they use it to close off the programming or to open it up in the morning. I think that probably some people are a little worried about the music being too slow. You made it with um, a guy by the name of Garby Leon. Garby who's Leon, who was right. at the music school. Yeah. Right. Dick, um, what uh, we're going to see first is uh, actually your first film, is it not? Uh, you want to tell us the name of it? And, uh, it's called Quarry. <laughs> Do you want to know how it came about? Well, yeah. Um, how did how did you come about uh, being in uh, the neighborhood of a quarry? I mean, that's to say, up here in Quincy. Well, I, I, it's not actually my first film. My first film was a film that I made when I was in college, and I shot it on single perf film. And I, it was about a wrecking company in uh, South Cambridge. And um, I cut it, and I spliced it together, and I put it in the projector, and I couldn't make it come out right. I couldn't get it. It would either be upside down or the emulsion would be reversed. Were you doing that as a student? No, I was just doing that because everybody was, it was very chic then to make films, and I was my, uh, my freshman year. It was particularly chic to make films about auto wreckers. I guess. Auto wreck, yeah, well, the Ashcan school. But mm -hmm. anyway, so that was the first experiment with film, and I said, well, if I can't get it to come out right side up or with the emulsion position right, it means it's not the medium for me, and I'll stick to still photography, which is what I was doing. So Quarry really was the next venture, mm -hmm. which what I did. year? Well, I shot it in 67, which was the le my last year in, in college. So these are the intensified years of uh, school and student unrest and so on. Uh, mm -hmm. Did that have well, anything to do with your choice of subject? Uh, no, no. I actually, I was driving out to the Cape one day, and I saw in Quincy the, those big rocks. Mm -hmm. And little tiny people on the top. And I, it was November, I think. And it was very, it was that sort of dead time when it's all, it was all foggy and misty. And I went back up into those hills and found these quarries, which I'd never heard about. I was just overpowered by how beautiful the quarry was. 